NCBA is not just working to cut greenhouse gases when it comes to methane emissions, but also looking to cut manure and livestock. Well, one Kansas State researcher is exploring just that. And as Farm Journal's Tyne Morgan reports, it starts with making small changes to their diets. We are at the KSU Beef Stalker Unit. The picturesque landscape in the Flint Hills is a second home for Dale Blassie and his team. For the better part of five years, our unit has focused spe specifically on the use of limit feeding. Limit feeding in cattle that Blassie has seen dramatically reduce manure output while also improving feed efficiency in cattle. And so we are able to measure that performance on a weekly basis by weighing them as a pen group and adjust their intake of the diets that we feed. While limit feeding isn't new, what Blassie is uncovering is. Our previous research over the five last years suggests a reduction in manure output of about 35%. Two pens side by side, one fed with a traditional diet of mostly roughage. Our, our limit feeding diet uh, consists of only about 13% roughage. That's versus 45% on the ad lib. And the other with an alternative limit feeding recipe. And as we move further to this direction over here, we have the more digestible, the limit fed diet that is comprised of about 40% of a co-product. And so the animals are able to clean it up. A highly digestible diet with a visual difference of less waste. Is much more highly digestible and as a consequence, there's less of it coming out, out of the animal. While students document observations in the pens, these tags are also constantly collecting data. We're incorporating this technology to try to give us a better job in terms of understanding what is happening in a pen setting. Data that shows while the environmental and economic benefits add up, convenience is also key. In Kansas, we are prone to drought, as many other parts of the country are. But uh, the roughage in and of itself is a real inconvenience for our producer. As researchers here search for sustainable answers, the research is producing practical applications in the short run. And so if there is a rain event or a snow event, there's no need to clean the bunks. They're already cleaned and stripped dry. Feasible answers to a problem some producers didn't even realize they could fix. We feel very confident to the point where we can initiate the feeding of this diet one day after arrival of these calves. A sustainable solution that could help propel the cattle industry's quest to reach climate neutral beef production just two decades down the road.